Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we'll look at how to quickly paint an environment from start to finish. We'll look at how to color, render and detail the whole thing. Also stay tuned because along the way I'll talk about my process and give you some tips and ideas for digital painting. My name is Victor, I'm a professional concept artist and I really hope you'll enjoy this tutorial and find it helpful. Also don't forget to ask any questions about the process in the comment section. Alright, let's start. So as usual, I start with a very simple sketch. I know that I want to have a forest, sort of a snowy environment. Right now I'm just trying to think where I can place my trees, where I can place my character, how to arrange everything in a nice compositional way so it has a graphic look and it also tells a little bit of a story. Alright, the sketch seems to be done, which is already not a bad start. You can continue and establish the mood. Basically add the values, add your flat color, decide the atmosphere, you know, decide the mood, decide the lighting and go on from there. And this is really one of the most important parts of the painting because after you have this done right, the rest of the image for me, in my opinion, seems to be you know, the easy part, you know, detailing, describing form is slightly easier to do than those first steps when you have to you know adjust your values correctly and basically try to get things to be realistic with just a few flat colors and some shapes hey but also i'm really interested to know what in your opinion is the toughest part of a painting let's say you're taking the whole process start to finish what do you guys struggle the most with i'm really curious about it Okay, finally time to add those cold shadows. Right now I'm working on the character and it's the same principle as before. I'm picking my flat color, my local color basically, and I'm trying to adjust that first. Then I just remove the sketch and describe a little bit the form. Not a lot, I, I wanted to have a graphic look to it this time around. By the way guys, don't forget that I've put a free link with my most used brushes in the description, so don't forget to grab those. I'm starting to work on those tall trees on the right because the top part of the image seems to be quite empty right now. That's why I'm adding those branches and maybe some foliage. Alright, now let's add some snow on those trees on the left and also try to give a little bit of depth to the whole image by putting some more trees in the background. Now adding some visual interest to the image, adding some snow here and there, maybe those footprints I had in the sketch in the beginning. Also if you notice I jump around in the image, I don't stay in one place because I don't want to have one area seem to be too overworked.
Alright, here I decided that the composition was lacking something, that's why I added another tree in the middle, maybe trying to add a bit more depth, I thought, and also trying to close the, that area on top of the image, it still seemed quite empty to me. Later on I also added a few, you know, uh, some foliage on the right upper corner as well. Alright, I think we're almost done. Thank you so much for watching, thank you guys for sticking around. I hope you found the video interesting and maybe you found something new. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. Also, don't forget to drop a comment and I really hope to see you guys in the next one. Coming soon.